Hello. Hello. I just thought I'd show you. That's Sasha, Starlight Express, is back in her paddock here at Coniston Lodge. Um, she, I thought she did a really, really good trial, even though she stood in the gates. Um, I was speaking to Cameron Lummis after, and he just said um, once she hit quite a good speed, she actually felt really, really good. And when she got clear air, she really lengthened out and he was really happy with the way she she galloped when she got clear air so she's just a bit nervous about going through horses so he gave her a bit of education when she was doing that um trial at, towards the end when she got a bit exhausted he put her through he brought her back in through some horses and made her run through some of the horses just to give her a bit of education so all in all he said that he was really positive about the about the um run and um you know she'll benefit out of that and 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 um she learned a lot i think so it's nice to give her a wee spell here just as the, the tracks do start to harden up well that's supposedly a bit wet at the moment isn't it but um they will harden up and um and uh she will be brought back for the autumn running uh, she looked amazing she's lovely and strong and she's really lengthened out um i couldn't, couldn't believe how long she's got so yeah she's she looks fantastic underneath that cover and uh, she's settled in well here obviously she knows where she's at and there's quite a few horses around her in the paddock so um really happy with her so as to the owners of dance 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 well what a run um she just left actually she she left just before sasha got here so uh she was in the same paddock as as sasha is in now but uh congratulations to the owners of Dance Dance Dance. We've got our group one. I am still in shock. Um, it was just a wonderful, a wonderful day and uh, uh, such a moment to remember. And it was great to have you all, most of you there to share that experience. And um, I think we'll be riding high until the next start, which will be the Zabil Classic uh, on Boxing Day, Ellerslie. Um, OP has confirmed that he's riding her. Um, he doesn't want to get off and uh, understandably so um so yeah congratulations team that's just a wonderful effort and i'm looking forward to having hot and high hills coming back probably at tauranga on friday unfortunately i won't be able to be there but um um i am excited that she will be back and uh for her first her first start for a while and i'll be looking forward to getting her some black type this time around too um She's, I did see Phil Stevens today and she's, she's very well and uh, Cameron Lammis has booked to ride her if we do start on, on Friday at Tauranga um, so I'll, I'll be updating you probably again before the end of the week um, and as the draw will come out tomorrow um, it's a good field a um, little, good little field 13 in the field um, it's a good strong field um, so hopefully we get a nice draw um, and we'll go from, go from there so Sasha's just enjoying a bit of me time in the paddock. Um, she'll be joined by Amala Vita next week, probably Thursday. She's Amala Vita will be going to Mark Forbes for a jump out um, next week at Thursday on, at, at, at Cambridge. So she'll come down on Tuesday, have a jump out on Thursday, and then she'll be brought back to Coniston Lodge. Um, so so Sasha and Amala Vita will be back here for a while until autumn we also have uh, Ruby Armani who will probably be back here in January to start her pre-training for the autumn as well and um, we'll have a busy autumn ahead I believe um, with dance 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 more than likely heading over to Australia to do some hit, hit the tracks over there and, and see what she can do over there in Australia against some of the big big horses over there um, in the big races, not quite sure whether it'll be Sydney or Melbourne yet. Um, well, I had quite a few horses arriving, so I've been a bit busy. Um, we've got, still got shares in the three yearlings um, remaining. We've still got 30% left in the contributor filly. Um, we have some shares still left in the Jimmy Chu filly, who is very closely related to Actually, her dam is a half-sister to Zalate, 
who won her second second um, race for Chris Waller. She's had two starts for two wins, um, so she looks quite exciting. Um, so yeah, she's at uh, the Jimmy Trufili is out of a half sister to Zara Latte. Um, so it's a lovely pedigree, and of course she's got dance, dance, dance in that pedigree as well. So there's still lease shares available in the Jimmy Trufili, um, and there is also still shares available in the Ocean Park Colt, who is also got a wonderful pedigree, um, being a half brother to Better Than Ever. Um, so onwards and upwards folks, if you're interested in getting a share on any of those yearlings, please do let me know and um, we can move forward with a wonderful 2019 um, lots of horses hitting the tracks that year. We've got Holly over here, I don't know if you can see her, she's in the <laughs> orange jacket. She will be moved out into her paddock again, she was just keeping mates with Dance Dance Dance. And Zastara's is born is right here as well and she'll be going in the paddock again but she works from the paddock because she's friends with Holly. She is looking absolutely spectacular and she's come, for, come a long way this time in um, but she'll be going back to Blanford for a spell um, next week and then she will also come back in for, for the autumn for an autumn prep and so she won't be out very long um, but uh, yeah she's, she's absolutely doing super and I guess her half sister Zalate is um, obviously performing on the track so all very exciting that's backs on track and um, I'll be, be updating you again shortly this week. Thanks all.